Hey everybody, welcome back. So during the last AliExpress sale, I think it was the one they called a choice sale, I was perusing their site, looking once again for large screen smartwatches with big batteries. And of course, you know, I like, I want to see a inch and a half screen or larger, and I want to see a 500 milliamp hour battery or larger. So I came across this one. This is a Lige, L-I-G-E, so Lige or Liggy, I do not know how they pronounce it. And it has a 1.6 inch screen and a 600 milliamp hour battery. And it looked pretty decent. It was, right now I'm looking at it, it's not on sale, it's $28.50. I got it on sale for $22. Oh, and I also bought another Comey V69 because they were on sale for $18. I'm still wearing my current Comey V69, although you'll notice the crown is gone, and I find it completely usable without the crown in it at all, which I think is pretty humorous. But nonetheless, we're going to get a look at this Lige. It is the Model T30, and mine is in black. And of course, I paid for this with my own money. These guys, they don't know me from Adam. I have not taken it out and even looked at it yet. I have been so busy. And looks like it has a nice rubber strap on it. These all anymore have really, really nice silicone straps on them. So let's peel the, um, let's peel the top cover off. Let's peel this off or I'll forget. Not that it seems to affect how it operates. This appears to have a metal case, probably zinc. I think I saw that. I'm looking at it on, I'm looking at it on AliExpress's website now. It looks like the same Realtek chip that's in the Colmy V69. Uh, they're saying it's 400 ppi screen and a bunch of other stuff about it, but let's see if it'll turn on. So I have a button marked power and one marked sport, and of course it'll have a touch screen. These buttons have a kind of a ring around them that spins. I don't know if you can see that or if the camera is focusing on it, but um, I doubt that does anything. Let's turn it on and let's make sure it comes on. And of course, I'm going to charge up, vibrate it. I'm going to charge it up. That came on really quick. Um, not going to stay lit long. Oh, it wants us to get the app. Now, the app for this one is called QWatch. I'm kind of surprised it isn't the fit. I wouldn't be at all surprised if the fit didn't find it and use it. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get the app first. Let me do that and I'll be right back. I have found the app. It is called QWatch Pro. That's Q-W-A-T-C-H-P-R-O on the Android Google Play Store. And I've started it up. I accepted all the different permissions, you know, it asked for be able to determine location and access music and videos and all that. So let's tap on watch and let's see if it offers to connect. Watch still just shows that app download link. So apparently that's not where I do it. Oh, there we go. Add device. So we're going to say add device, searching for device. T30, there we go, T30. Connected, battery is 45%. Let me say, before we do anything else, or before we do any real tests on it, I will charge the battery up. And I'll wear it for about a week, then I'll come back. Oh, firmware upgrade, let's see what, okay, there is a firmware upgrade for it, so let's do that. Okay, we'll allow notifications. Um, Allow notification dot, sure, all that's good. Let's go back, updating the firmware. All right, we are updated. Yay. So call alert, I want on. Please connect the device first. I'm not. Okay. 
says I'm says discon normally when it says disconnect it means you're connected. Um, Okie doke. So it's showing me watch faces. These are the watch faces that I'm assuming are on. Let's go find settings first and let's crank up the screen brightness and the timeout because that timeout sucks. Um, timeout, let's crank the brightness up. Up it goes it goes from one to five. I want to turn it up to five for now. Turn off the function of raise to wake. No, I don't want to turn off the function of raise to wake, but I guess I just did anyway. So what I want to do is I want to change that timeout. Um, you would think it would be, this might not be the same chip as the V69 because this is quite a bit different. Um, can't say as I really care for the way that rotates around circular. I'm sure some people would find that neat, but I, it's not doing much for me. Um, I don't want do not disturb on. I want to figure out where the where the timeout setting is. Come on, you can do it. You would think it would have to be in preferences. Component editing, whatever. Message bright screen. I don't know what that means. Time format, date format, vibration intensity. Hey, they're hiding it from me pretty well here. Media sound dial setting. No, that's watch face. I don't want to mess with the watch face yet. Um, find my phone, night brightness mode, language, shutdown, factory reset, and system. Well, it's not in there. Okay, where would they put that timeout? That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, ah, come on, that is so irritating. Where would it be? Okay, it's not in theme, and, and of course the back button backs me all the way back out to the watch face, which, which is why I tend to not like back buttons on a lot of these watches, because they don't work the way I think they should. Shutdown? No, it's not in shutdown. I'm back all the way back out. One press of the back button takes you all the way back to the watch face. I hate that. Um, so where would that setting be? Um, <laughs> it's got to be in here. Come on. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's look on. Let's look in the app. Maybe it's in the app. That's um, seriously annoying that it's not on the watch itself. Okay. All right. Do not disturb mode off. Find device. Take pictures. I tell you what, if there's no way to change that, it's already device on screen time, five seconds. Thank you. Um, looks like 10 is as long as I can make it. I'm happy with that for now. That's very frustrating to not be able to. Um, so let's look at the watch faces. All right. So that's the one it started with. And you know what? I don't even hate that. I, I, shockingly enough, let me get that out of there if things will brighten up. I don't hate that. Um, it, still, it, still, it still doesn't stay on for very long, but 42% battery life, um, heart rate maybe. I don't know how it's selling my heart rate since I haven't even put it on yet. And um, steps probably at the bottom and time at the top. I don't hate that. I don't like it that much but I don't hate it. So let's look at the next one over. And that shows steps, day, date, and a nice watch hand. I don't, don't hate that one either. Um, yeah, I do hate that one. If your eyesight's at close range is a lot better than mine, who knows, you might like that. I, I'm never going to. Oh, and there's an airplane one. I knew there'd be one for 12-year-olds. <laughs> shouldn't say that a lot of you guys a lot of you people might like fighter plane watch faces I don't so um I'm gonna change it here's another one I might like um the time in digital and the time in the hands plus 
steps, heart rate, and calories burnt, maybe. Oops. I don't hate that one either. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Shockingly, there isn't one watch face on here I really hate. And then we came to this one. Yes, I hate that one. Okay, well, there had to be one, right? All right, let's see what we can get on here. Let's see if I can find one that I like as much as, you know, this one on the Colm EV69. I really like that one. The time is easy to see. It's arranged really well, and I think it all looks good. So let's look for something like that. Got to be something like that, don't you think? Something sort of like that. That one's not terrible. Let's keep looking. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't need 76 colors in my watch face. Some of you might like that. I'm not a huge fan. That one's interesting. I would like a bigger time. That one's pretty interesting, too. Well, there's a bunch of them anyway. Oh, I like that black and white one. That one's pretty decent looking. Kind of like that one, too. What is that, a flip clock? That one's not bad. That one's not bad. That one's not bad. Hell yeah, there's a bunch of them. And I'm sure there's something for everybody here. Again, I'm looking for a large reading in time because that's mainly what I'm... Nine times out of ten when I'm looking at my watch, I want to know what time it is. I don't want to have to get glasses out. I don't want to have to squint. I don't want to have to do math or decipher anything. So let me pick out what I think is the best of these. Let's do this one. Support adding up to six watch faces. Okay, what does that mean? That mean I can't put that one in? Support adding up to six watch faces. So what does that mean? So does that mean I have to delete one before I can put one in? All right, let's try, let's try deleting one. Let's see if it'll let me do that. All right, let's delete that one, this one. Can I delete that one? Um, nope, there doesn't seem to be any way from the watch face to delete it. So how do you get the watch face on, off it? I got him. I going to have to read the instructions. That would suck. There's no plus or minus. There's no way to remove it that I can tell. So maybe we do it from here. Let's go back to the top. Oh, look. <laughs> how did I miss that? Every watch face here has a little X next to it. So it looks like I can get rid of every one except, well, where's that one with the flower thing on it? It's not even showing me that one. Um, I know I don't like that, so let's get rid of it. Will it let me? Oh, it did. Okay, so let's get rid of the one with the fighter plane because I know I don't want that either. So I guess I can't get rid of that one with the flowers either. Um, all these ones with the hands, I don't really need three of them. This one is the least legible. Let's get, let's get rid of that. And honestly, I don't like that one that much. I'd much rather have that one. So let's go back to the watch. What's, I guess some of these are just baked in like that one. I guess I can't get rid of this one at all. One of two. So now it's telling me there's only two watch faces. That one. And that would be fine for one with hands. You know, there's only two. Two that are baked in, and this doesn't even show one of them. What's wallpaper? Uh, I don't know, and I don't care. Oh, I see. That, that one lets you change that background of this flower watch to something else you want. Like you could put a picture of your, your significant other or your car or whatever behind this time and date and battery life. Okay, that's okay. I don't hate that either. I'm finding lots not to hate here. Let's go back to the watch face. What does this button do? This button brings up the sports mode. Walking, running, cycling, hyping, hyping, <laughs> rope skipping, rowing, spinning, basketball, badminton, aerobics, kayaking. Okay, I'm not going to read them all. Um, so let's put in that watch face I was looking at earlier. So let's get out of here. Okay, save, fine. How do I get out of here? All right. So back to here. Oh, uh, dials. There we go. And let's put in a couple of these ones I thought I liked. Let's 
put this one in, install. Alright, let's find another one. Kind of interested in that one. That looks pretty good. Let's install that one too. Okay, this is the one. Okay, um, what is all that in the background? I have no idea. Let's put it in any way. We'll see how much I hate it. So this is not that same Realtek chip that the Comey V69 uses. This is something different. Now let's get one more. Let's look at this one. We'll put that one in too. All right, that's going to be enough for now. Let's go back to the watch and um, let's swipe around and see what else the watch offers us. Okay, so let's go back to this. Oh, I actually I like that one. That one's pretty nice looking, huh? Let's get the phone over so the camera will lighten back up. So I actually kind of like that one. It's got a lot of info on it, yet the time is big enough that I can read it without glasses on. When I swipe to the left, or excuse me, when I swipe to the right, I get sports mode. Oh no, I get settings. Sports, sport record, today's data. Telephone, voice assistant, heart rate, sleep, SpO2, blood pressure, breath training, alarm, weather, calendar timer, stopwatch, music, camera, and QR code. When I swipe to the left, then I'm going to get all the health information, I think. Steps, KCAL, kilometers, blood pressure, um, telephone, because I'm not used to seeing this, telephone, call records, dial, contacts and weather once it admits that I've connected the app, which for some reason it doesn't seem to think I have in all ways yet. When I swipe down, I should get messages, and right now, of course, there are none. So there you have it. That is the initial look at the watch out of the box. Let me see what kind of charge cable it has. All right, let's plug it in and charge it, and let's see what it looks like when it's charging. Oh, I felt it that time. I felt it buzz. So it is currently um, 1658 on May the 15th, and I believe our new Lige watch is now at 100%. It is, and it's showing 1659. I'm going to take the charge cable off of it, and I'm going to put it on my wrist in place of the Colney. Oh, and here's the if you're interested in the difference between the size between the two, here it is. It's significant. It's not huge, but it, it is significant. This is 1.85 and this is 1.6. So, um, thickness is eh, pretty much the same. The Colmy may be a tiny bit thinner, but not much. Band thickness width is about the same. Um, very, very, very similar in size. This one has a bit more bezel. Um, yeah, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. And we'll be back in, I don't know, somewhere between 5 and 10 days, depending on what my schedule is like. Um, if I haven't mentioned it in this video and you haven't watched any of my other videos, I set these watches to usually about half or a little above on um, screen brightness and turn on the razor wrist to light the watch during the day. I wear it all night. I usually turn the screen brightness all the way down at night and the razor wrist to turn on off at night. So there you go. We'll be back when I'm back. So here's one thing I have noticed right off the bat is the new watch is considerably quicker on Ray's wrist. Let's see if I can get it to do it. It's considerably snappier when you raise it. It also has that dim feature where it dims slightly before it turns off, which I like that too, but it is quicker. 
and it's significant. Okay, so I have been wearing the Lige T30 smartwatch now for, it's been almost exactly a week. And I think I now know enough about it to talk to you about it, give you my opinion, and then when I'm done with that, we'll make the obvious comparison, which I think is going to be to the Comey V69. They're priced almost the same. They're both big screen watches with big batteries with, if not the identical chipset, certainly one that's very similar. No, I don't think it's an identical chipset. Let me get it off my wrist. And um, let's talk about the things I liked about it. I like the screen. While not being quite as big as the Comey, it is certainly large and nice. Another thing I liked is how quick it is when you flip your wrist up to come on. It is really quick and responsive. Battery life is also excellent. It has been almost exactly one week, and we, I believe, are at 46% battery life. I know it just gives you the little battery here, but if we come over to the app and we look at the, that's not the app, where did the app go? We look at the app, here it is, QWatch Pro. We'll go to watch, and yeah, battery, 46%. So, it's got very good battery life, certainly well over a week. It was Wednesday last week when I charged it up and started this test, and it is Wednesday, it was Wednesday the 15th, now it's Wednesday the 22nd. I think I may have jumped the gun a couple hours, but this thing easily has 10, 10 day, 12 day battery life on it, no matter how you use it. It's very nice. Another thing I like, as you'll have noticed here, is when it times out, and I have it set 10 seconds, when it times out, that was a message that came in, a message function always works well on it, but as it times out, it goes dim for a couple of seconds before it eventually does its timeout, probably one second. Messages are all very, very readable. I'm not at all unhappy about the messages. The functions of the health are all really, really excellent. I have had no issues with step tracking, with heart rate, with anything. The only thing I have not been able to get to work is the weather. And it says, please connect app. Well, the app is connected as you just saw. I have given it every permission it could possibly want and I cannot get the weather to work, and I have not had any problems getting the weather to work on any of the others. Everything else works. I've been very happy with it. It is, its functionality other than that weather is excellent. This kind of screen here, you can change this. It has, a, it has more functions than the Colmy, without a doubt. It has a timer and a stopwatch, for example. You can control the camera. Most of this stuff you can do on both of them. The one really big difference is you can change six of the watch faces on this watch. And I think there's one or two that you can't change. Um, and then you can make your own custom one. And I did it here just to show you what it looks like. Um, where did it go? Here it is. Here's the custom one I changed. And I just used a picture of the front of my Jeep and it puts the time on it. And that's really all you can do is add a photo to it. I like, though, I like the thickness. It is one millimeter thicker than the Comey, and that's not an issue to me at all. It is 1.6 inch screen with a very nice bright screen. A couple of my pet peeves on it. One, what are the red arrows for? I, I don't get the red arrows. They do nothing. Power and sport. You know, I don't feel these things need any writing on the front at all. At least it doesn't say anything kooky or nutty on the front of it. Um, that's a good thing for me. The band has been nice. The band they supplied with it, the um, mesh band, I have not tried yet, but I will. I like those too. Um, so it's really nice. I really have no issues with it. There are some weird things about it that I should probably mention. I don't like the back button. I think a back button should take you back one step. Like if I come into preferences and I want to make one change and then back back to the preferences screen and make another and then back back and make another, when I press the back button, I go all the way back to the watch face. Now I have to go back in and back to preferences, make my other change, go back in, back to, and that's just, that's not how a back button should work to me. That may be how you like your back button to work though. So, you know, don't take that as, don't take that is set in stone because not everybody is the same. The screen timeout. 
I like to be able to set the screen time out to 30 seconds to make these videos. The most I can set it to on this watch is 10 seconds, and I have to do it from the app. That setting is not available from the watch itself, which I think is pretty odd. The watch has a good vibrating function. It's got a good speaker function. Um, I really don't have any problems with any of its functionality. It seems to be, the build quality seems to be pretty good. I really have no issues other with it than that. Now, let's compare it to the Comey, because again, I think that is going to be the most obvious comparison. The Colmy is $19 or $20, and this is $24 or $25, not on sale. The Colmy has a quarter inch, or what's that, 3.7 or 3.8 millimeters bigger screen. The Colmy is also slower to react. When you raise your wrist, the Colmy takes a second or so longer to light up than the Lige T30 does. You can only change one watch face on the Colmy. The rest are all set in stone. You can't change them. You can only change the one. Is that a big deal to you? I don't know. It wasn't to me. Once I find one I like, that's fine. This watch does seem snappier to me than this one does. They both function just fine. Another thing, of course, big issue with the Colmy is that stinking rotating crown. And you'll notice I took the crown completely out of this one. That wasn't my intention. I took it out to attempt to fix it so it didn't change the watch face. I lost the clip that held it in and I thought the hell with it. I'll just use it without it and I have not had an issue. That button lights it up and then you just use the touch screen to do it and that button backs you out. You can go back to the watch face and then just let it time out. I have not had an issue using it like that. So that might be your answer. Just remove the crown and plug the hole up with some silicone sealer and you're good to go. I did buy another Colmy V69. The crown is a little stiffer, but not significantly as much. Uh, as far as the apps are concerned, I don't really see... Um, the Colmy V69 uses an app called DaFit. Now I have three other, two or three other watches that also use DaFit. And this is QWatch Pro, it's what the Lige uses. And as you can see, all the functionality is here. You can do everything you want. Like I say, the only thing I didn't get to work on it was the weather. And I, I really don't care about that. The, the functionality of the two are almost the same. There are some things that are missing in the fit that QWatch Pro has, and something that QWatch Pro has that's missing in, did I get that right anyway? You know what I mean. One of them, for example, is the, the functionality to, to set a time period that the raise wrist to activate turns on and off, and the brightness goes from, you know, where you want it in the daytime to where you want it at nighttime. One of them has one but not the other, and the other's vice versa. So it's just like, what are you going to do? So honestly, I'm not, I don't really have any, both apps are fine. Both apps do what they're supposed to do. I, I really can't pick one between the other. So between these two watches, um, if I had to make a choice, if I was going to buy one and I was only going to buy one, I would probably buy the Lige T30 just because of that rotating crown and only being able to one watch, change one watch face annoys me. If it wasn't for those two things, I would take the call me. Anyway, I don't know what else to say other than that. I think you'd like both of them as long as that rotating crown didn't drive you nuts and it it did drive me nuts. I mean, I'm not going to say it didn't because it did. And because of that, this is my choice right here. Anyway, I hope you all like this video. I'll put links below. They will, of course, be affiliate links. And um, thanks for watching and thanks for using those affiliate links. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.